the stunning Southern Lakes District of New Zealand. It's world famous for spectacular scenery, historic settlements, and outdoor adventure. In a country renowned for its clean green appeal, this region has almost everything New Zealand is famous for. So where to start and where to stay? Well, for many visitors, the jewel in the Lakes District Crown is the famous old town that was built on gold. Arrowtown is a fascinating settlement nestled on the banks of the Arrow River in the central Otago area. Born out of the gold rush days of the 1860s, Arrowtown remains a living historic town. This is no recreation. The old world charm has been retained through the careful preservation of Arrowtown's colourful history. Uh, it's just great to see an old town that uh, has still survived. I'd love to have seen it uh, 100 years ago. Oh, well, I can look around and think back now, this has been back in the olden days. Great. The settlement sprang up overnight with the discovery of gold in the Arrow River in 1862. Among the first to strike it lucky was William Fox. Well, Fox and his party found 47 pounds of gold in just two weeks, just around the corner there. When the news got out, all hell broke loose. Today, that gold will be worth about three quarters of a million dollars. Not bad for two weeks' work. Word quickly spread, and thousands of miners from around the globe flocked to the district to explore this rough and awesome landscape. The Arrow River became famous as one of the world's richest. During the gold rush days, the population of the town rose to over 7,000. Today, many of the town's original buildings are still standing, and indeed still functioning. In the historic main street of Arrowtown, you can stroll around a wide range of shops, cafes, restaurants, hotels and galleries. One place well worth a visit is the Town Museum. The Chinese settlement at Arrowtown, now known as the Chinese Village, is one of only three such places left in the world. It's a fascinating glimpse at how the Chinese gold miners lived over 100 years ago. And right beside the town, the river is reserved for recreational gold panning. It's free of charge and who knows, you might strike it lucky. These days, tourism has replaced gold as the growth industry in the region, and it's not hard to see why. Arrowtown lies at the very heart of one of the most exciting adventure playgrounds in the Southern Hemisphere. Coronet Peak is one of two world-class ski fields within 40 minutes of Arrowtown. And you'll find another two ski fields in the neighbouring Wanaka area. Both are an easy day trip from Arrowtown. There's a whole range of activities within a 15-minute drive, including wine tasting and mountain biking. There's the world-famous A.J. Hackett bungee jump, golf facilities, trout fishing, swimming and picnicking at idyllic Lake Hayes, just five minutes from the town. Arrowtown is popular all year round, and each season brings something special. The magic of a heavy snowfall in winter and the blazing colour of autumn. Arrowtown is just a 20-minute drive from the bright lights and busy streets of Queenstown, the South Island's leading international resort destination. There's a great range of visitor accommodation, ranging from camping grounds, hotels and motels, through to the luxury of Millbrook Resort, an exclusive five-star resort renowned as a top-class sport and leisure retreat. Whether you're planning a relaxing holiday or in search of excitement and adventure, the historic town of Arrowtown has it all. You can find out more by contacting the Arrowtown Promotion Association, 49 Buckingham Street, Arrowtown, New Zealand. And you'll also find us on the internet. But why take our word for it? Here's what others have been saying. I think it's quiet, you know, people are friendly. Uh, it's very enjoyable, very relaxing, very relaxing. Well, I mean, you have a beautiful country, so why shouldn't you have a beautiful town? <laughs> It's true.